Classic here. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be sharing with you some of the Funko Pops I have been waiting for such a long time. These are the Sailor Moon Funko Pops. Apparently they're supposed to be another one, um, which is a regular version of Sailor Moon, which I do not have. But as you can see, I have six characters right in front of me. You might be able to find them elsewhere, but I found all of these at Hot Topic. So without further ado, let's get started and take a closer look at these. So we will take a closer look at them one by one and as you can see the box design always looks the same pretty much and here is a list of characters you can get. As you can see, like I said, there are two different versions of Sailor Moon. The one I have is a Topic exclusive. There's actually a regular version of Sailor Moon which has uh, Luna without her band-aid and Sailor Moon is also in a different pose. This one right here is Tuxedo Mask. I love how it is so easy to take out these Funko Pops and put them back in. Here is Tuxedo Mask. As you can see, the painting job is really nicely done. There's so much black on this character because he's wearing his tuxedo and also his top hat. From this side, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it does look like they did paint his eyes. But it's no use since he already has a mask on and you cannot actually remove this mask from what I can tell. Here's a closer look on the details of his tuxedo. As you can see, really nicely done and these gold buttons are actually painted with metallic gold paint. He's holding a rose in his hand which is just perfect and his cape is sculpted really nicely. Do you see that flowy movement? I mean, it's not moving of course, but they sculpted it so that it looks like it's flapping in the wind. And here's a closer look on his face too. So that was Tuxedo Mask. I'm not going to be showing you guys, you know, taking the figure out out of all of the boxes, but here is the Sailor Moon box and as you can see, the illustration is going to be different on this box because this is a Hot Topic exclusive one. So let's take this out. Here is a closer look on Luna that comes with Sailor Moon. As far as I can see, the major difference between this version and the regular version is that this one has band-aids on her forehead to cover up the crescent moon, just like in the beginning of the episode, the first episode. And also, you guys can see that she has eyelashes painted on too. And it's kind of hard to tell, but she even has her whiskers kind of sculpted, but it's not like painted on it, but it's like slightly indented inwards. Here's the back of her. Here is my Sailor Moon figure, which I will definitely give you guys a closer look on. Here's a closer look on her face. They gave her blushing, as you can tell, and she has eyelashes painted on. The gold parts are painted with metallic gold paint, and the hair sculpting is really, really nicely done, as you can see. The colors are super vibrant as well. And here's the closer look on her Sailor suit as well. I love the way that they post her because it kind of ensures this to not touch her face so that the paint does not rub off. Again, really nice sculpting and vibrant colors as well. And look at the details on the end of her, um, what do you call these? Little bun, bun pigtails? So nice! The next one is Sailor Mercury and as you can see, she is also posed in her battle pose and it's, I know this is going to be different from figure to figure but for some reason something seems to have broken off in her head so it rattles. I've never had this with Funko Pop, so yeah, somehow I feel like I'm holding like a rattler. I feel like I'm a toddler holding a very fancy rattler. But as you can see, she also has blushings on her cheeks. And again, really nice. I think I'm just going to give you guys a little pan around like this instead of, you know, talking about it. Because you guys can clearly see all the details. She even has her earrings on. I'm actually really impressed with the way they sculpted their suit because there are a lot of details in this suit. So awesome. And yep, I can still hear the rattling and her boots as well. Here is Sailor Mars, which is actually one of my favorite inner senshis. So a lot of the facial features are pretty much the same as the other girls too. And I look at her earrings, very nice. I love the way that they paid attention to her earring details. And of course, there's some dust. That's okay though. I can dust it off. Very nicely sculpted here too. And I love, 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 love her pose so much. They did a fantastic job with these. And I'm really hoping that they will also come out with the Outer Senshis too. Here is Sailor Jupiter. She is also one of my other favorite Inner Senshis. 
and the sculpting looks so good on her the ponytail is really nicely done i'm so happy that they paid attention to you know every single details of these characters very very nice and her pose is really nicely done as well except as you can see my character for some reason my figure has her shoulder off so i'm going to have to try to figure a way to fix this because it's glued in place and it feels like it's glued like this it dried off like this so i will have to try to fix this so yeah unfortunately they did not have any other sailor jupiters there and i did not want to risk not being able to find another sailor jupiter so i took her but just letting you know that this is something that you might have to pay attention to if you guys are going to get these figures also i really love how they painted the lace of her boots that's really really nicely done and also for some reason um sailor jupiter and sailor mars have the hardest time standing up i don't know why it could be just my figures but i just thought that i would let you guys know the last one is sailor venus and artemis and i'm going to give you guys a look on artemis first it looks like they use exactly the same base as luna but had him cast it in white, of course, and then there is his crescent moon on his forehead. He looks absolutely adorable! Here is Sailor Venus. I'm hoping that they will also come out with Sailor V. That would be actually really, really nice. And you can see the facial details are exactly the same as the other characters. Her hair is really nicely sculpted as well as her bow. Here is the detail on her body. The pose is really nicely done as well. So that was Sailor Venus. Here are all of my Sailor Moon Funko Pops I was able to share with you guys. So just to give you guys a summary, um, my Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, and Sailor Venus have some hard time standing up probably because their hair is so heavy. Fortunately, it's kind of easy to have Sailor Moon stand up on her own because of her long bun pigtails. They kind of support her from the back. Overall, I'm really happy with these figures and I think they did a fantastic job of making these characters into Funko Pop figures. I don't know, what do you guys think? Which other characters do you think they should make into Funko Pops? Please let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.